What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about some of the changes coming to the DK class in the High Isles chapter. Now, a lot of people in the community are unhappy because mainly this is going to be a pretty much straight up nerf to the Dragon Knight class. Not really going to affect tanking too much, but mainly DK damage dealers. And as we know, back in the Ascending Tide update just a couple months ago, we did get some pretty good buffs, I think, overall to the DK class. It was making the DK class more viable in you know pve pvp and solo play but it seems us decided that some of those changes were a bit much they decided to go in and kind of nerf those uh, or kind of change them to kind of nerf them back a bit from what they were and of course the first thing they nerfed is burning embers they reduced the healing value of this morph uh, to 50 percent down from 100 percent of course burning embers that 100 percent uh, buff that it got or you know getting buffed up to 100 percent in ascending tide was a big game changer a lot of people were really happy with this especially on solo builds now that's going to get knocked back down to 50 percent the reason they said they did this is right now the healing values from this ability are enabling the dragon knight too much staying power while they want to retain the ability to reward the caster for going into and dotting up their foes the raw damage and healing from this ability is simply too much in its current form now, I would have assumed, uh, and maybe I'm completely wrong, but when they buffed this in Ascending Tide, I, I would have thought they would have realized that it was going to give you way too much raw damage and healing from that ability, considering they gave you 100% you know, of you know the value there. So knocking that back down to 50% is definitely going to be a big hit if you've been using your DK as of late uh, in a damage dealing situation. Uh, you're going to see a big change considering... Uh, burning embers is getting knocked down pretty much in half of course the next thing they changed is the uh, passive combustion it now has a cooldown of three seconds up from 0.5 seconds this is the passive is enabling a lot of sustain in situations where you are building around it with the status chance increasing allowing the dragon knight to sustain efforts uh, effortlessly with a few passive options now i'm not as good as on a DK, I, I have a mag DK, and I've never been as good on it as a lot of players have. Uh, I use it in PVE, decent with it in PVP, but not great. And I know there's a lot of players out there that are really good at sustaining with a DK, but that's always been one of my biggest issues. Even when the DK was really good at times uh, in PVE, when I used to use it years ago, I still always felt like my issue was sustain. I was always burning up, you know, tons of resources with that rotation because. It's not really tedious, it's not really a hard rotation, but it's just everything costs so much. And now that this has been nerfed as well, in my opinion, considering that combustion passive used to give us, uh, you know, have that cooldown of 0.5 seconds, now you're up to three seconds. That is gonna put a little bit more strain once again on a rotation. And I personally, for me, it's gonna feel like, you know, a big change considering I was never great with, with sustain. Anyway, if you're a player that's really good with sustain on a DK, it may not be that big of a change. But I think if you're a player like I am, you're not really that good with a DK. You're already struggling with a sustain on a, a damage dealing DK. This may be a big problem as well. And last but not least, uh, the coagulating blood morph, which is the opposite morph, of course, you know, of dragon's blood. The morph no longer reduces its cost, but increases the healing bonus based on your missing health to 50% up from 33%. The healing bonus is now a true value rather than an additive value, and they reduce the base healing of the skill by approximately 3% to fix some calculation errors. It said the skill is currently enabling Dragon Knights to bounce back from near-death situations a little too frequently, where uh, it's a significant cost reduction compared to other burst heals of its nature, and it's allowing it to be cast with reckless abandonment. So now, once again, you know we're getting this coagulating blood, morph nerf and we're also getting that uh, burning embers morph uh, nerf so a lot of the healing and some of that raw damage you're getting from burning embers a lot of the healing you're getting from burning embers and coagulating blood is definitely getting toned back a bit so i don't think you're going to be able to survive as easy on a dk in pve and pvp as you once could and this may cause a lot of people in the community that are already, you know, a lot of people are already talking about this, saying they won't be using their DK as much in the High Isles chapter because of these changes. I'm kind of curious what you guys think, so leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.